I like water skiing because it's so unique and not everybody does it. There's so many football players and there's basketball players and there's volleyball players and like I'm a volleyball player too. But with that, you can like just grab a volleyball and that's all you need. You don't have to have a court to practice or you don't have to have people with you to practice. You can go in your living room and you can set for an hour or you can practice serving onto a wall. But with water skiing, it's like, you have, if you don't have, like, if you don't have a boat or you don't have a lake, if you don't have somebody to drive the boat, then you can't do it. So there's just like so much you have to go through to be able to do that. And we do it anyway because we love it. I guess I've been skiing since I was about uh, six, six or seven at the Lake of the Ozarks with my parents, but then I didn't really start competing until college. I, uh, I got a job at Bass Pro in Springfield and worked with a guy who went out to a ski school a couple times a week, so I hitched a ride with him one day and got hooked. My best experiences are helping others learn to ski. Uh, I really get a kick out of seeing the smile on kids as they get up for the first time. Best experiences uh, are probably teaching people to ski. I got a lot of notches on my, what do you put notches on? A lot, I've taught a lot of people how to ski and that's exciting when they, uh, when you see their faces light up, they get it done. And then um, winning the regional championships in 2009, I think it was. That was pretty cool. It's really friends and fun and good exercise. Not so much cardio, but it's okay. When you're injured, you have to make sure that you're not, you can't stress out your injury because of water skiing. So this summer has been kind of hard. The beginning of the summer, I had a concussion until about mid-July. And then we went on vacation and vacation again. So this summer, hasn't I haven't been able to ski a lot, which I don't like because I love skiing. But you still have to just work through those challenges in order to be on the water as much as possible. Getting around the slalom course was the biggest challenge. Kind of always struggled with jumping um and tore my knee up doing just that so uh the rehab after that has taken a while that's been tough
lot of prep work that goes into water skiing. At the beginning of the summer, you have to make sure that your life jacket fits, that your glove fits, that your ski fits. And if one of them doesn't, you have to buy them a new one for a very, very high price. So then, like, on a daily basis to go ski, you have to get your ski out, and you have to get your gloves out, and you have to get your life jacket out, and you have to get the boat, and you have to get the gas for the boat, and you have to get the cover off. And then after, you have to do it all backwards. You have to hose and wipe down the boat, and then you have to put the cover on and make sure that you get everything away and everything's clean so that you don't have to spend more money just to get it fixed again. So it's quite a bit of work that goes in before and after. Whenever I tell people I'm a water skier, they're like, oh yeah, I've water skied too at the lake. And I guess I'm a water skier too. But, and I feel like that's a huge misconception about water skiing. That just because you've skied once or twice, doesn't that doesn't make you a water skier. What makes you a water skier is coming out here every day and practicing and swerving around those buoys and shortening the rope and skiing going faster and just everything there's like so much work that comes in there's no playbook telling you how to water ski there's nothing like you have to figure it out for yourself how you do it because the way everybody does it is different and you just you have to figure out yourself what you need to do better and what you need to fix and how you're going to get better mm -hmm. 